and welcome today we're going to take a look at sound design for video you know audition has these uh these nice little uh workspaces that you can switch between and you can see as we go on here so i'm just going to do edit audio to video since that's what we're doing that that is what we're doing rather <laughs> and there we have the classic shot it is my partner on okay so that was kind of jumping into the middle. Let's start at the beginning. Uh, and maybe we'll just start with a sound effect, shall we? This was what I first thought of when I saw the clouds. Now this is very basic sound design, so I didn't have like the sound of the footsteps or anything. Most of what I did here was with music. So let's let's start again with the music. But uh, anyway, I thought this would be a good introduction to basic, uh, well, sound design and also mixing in different layers. And we might see if we can add some more sound effects to this. You know, earlier this year, I, I finished a wedding video with this particular friend here, and uh, <laughs> we used this piece of music. I wonder if it's going to be in all our major, uh, major collabs. <laughs> This goes on for a while, so I'm going to skip ahead. Oh, that, I was really tired right there. This uh, swirling cloud shot was actually uh, one continuous shot. Oh, this is a parody of some of um, uh, was it? Oh yeah, uh, that one. And, uh, I remember after I finished this, he said we, we um, um, I didn't expect you to do that much with it, so, but I really wanted to make something special out of it, I had this, this image in my head, <clears throat> oh, wait, it, this used to be my, um, my outro music, because I, I used to do vlogs, uh, more regularly well not really regularly but they were like uh, larger productions than some of these videos and I would have that for my outro I think I did most of them when I was in media school so now here's just space for end credits okay so this was actually this was uh, climbing Mount Shasta, and uh, it's with Cornelio Tertorica. Uh He also has a channel where he does uh, climbing videos and stuff, so you should check that out. I'll put that in the uh, um, somewhere in the probably in description and 
either cards or end screen. So, uh, around the middle. <clears throat> so, at some point, I think I'll add. I, I don't know that I would add footsteps to it because for that there, because that would because that's a. It's kind of slow motion. It would kind of be. You know, if I already use the real sound. Um, and it certainly doesn't fit with the uh, talking, which I haven't introduced yet. But uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and look at the voice tracks here. And really quick, I want to shut this EQ off because I want to talk about something that um, we did here now. Something that I did with the voiceover. And I'll shut the EQ off on mine. Okay. So now we're just going to listen to the voices. At every point of decision, there's a moment of doubt. You know, that moment when you ask yourself, what am I doing here? Why am I doing this? I can't do this. I get asked a lot, and I've even asked myself, why climb a mountain? For me, it's a way to get out of the busy and artificial environments of today. The mountain is a place to escape. A place that's so simple, yet so complex, it affects us in many ways we can't even expect. I'd say climbing a mountain is more than being stupid. In fact, it's not about being crazy at all. It's, it's about taking on a huge challenge and conquering it. Your worst fears, your inadequacies. The mountain is just there, calling you, saying, Take me! Every time I climb a mountain, I st Okay, so that was basically... I, I, this was shot with a GoPro, believe it or not. And... Uh, and after we came back, I went to work uh, editing this, and I thought, uh, you know what would be really, really cool is if we just talk about our philosophy behind climbing. And that, that was the first line that came to me. At every point of decision, there's a moment of doubt. You know, that moment when you ask yourself, what am I doing here? Why am I doing this? I can't do this. Actually, it was just at, at every point of decision, there's a moment of doubt. Um, and so I, I, I think this one took a while because I edited it together and then he did some correction um, so that it was it would lay nice and flat and not look warped and then did some stabilization and also, uh, what else? He sent, he sent me the, the video and I made and then I, I did... Uh, I added the music and sound effects and mixed our lines together because we recorded them separately. As you could probably tell, there's a, some difference between... For me, it's a way to get out of the busy and artificial environment. And and then the sound of, of uh, my lines. You know that moment when you ask yourself, what am I doing here? Why am I doing this? So, I, uh, I recorded with uh, my... Mike at a, the, I think this was in my my dorm room, at, at school, so, um, so I was trying to match us as closely as possible. You can, but you can hear how much you tone know that is in moment here. when you ask yourself, "What am I?" Environments. How little is in there today? The mountain is a place to escape. A place that's so simple. Yeah, there's some some plosives in there that uh, that uh, would like to tame a little bit. But I think originally it was just uh, it was just one of them. So let's see. Uh, and okay, I'm gonna reset this to zero just so you can hear what it what it did sound like. You know that moment when you ask yourself, "What am I doing here? Why am I doing this? I can't do this." I get asked a lot, and I've even asked myself, "Why climb a mountain?" For me, it's a way to get out of the busy and artificial environments of today. You can kind of hear that some noise reduction that was done on the track. It kind of, it, depending on how how much you have to reduce, it can leave some interesting artifacts. So I, it looks like what I ended up doing here was was uh, splitting him in <laughs> in half, so to speak, padding him that moment fifty when you fifty, and then saying environments of today. The mountain is a place to escape. A place that's so simple, yet so complex, it affects us in many ways we can't even expect. So, 
I guess this would be the part of sound design where you're, you're doing EQing, which uh, is something you'd think about more in mixing music, but you do this on vocals. And the first thing I noticed opening this up again was how uh, maybe how boomy my voice sounded. Maybe you can't hear it here, but uh, I, I picked up on it after listening to this. At every point of decision, there's a moment of doubt. You know, that moment when you ask yourself, what am I doing here? Why am I doing this? I can't do this. Now, it sounds sort of pleasing. It makes me sound a little bigger than I am. But uh, it was not quite... Um, it's just a little bit too much. So here's a, an EQ. Each track has an EQ here in Audition, and you can power them on and off, as you've seen. And this pencil allows you to edit it. So what I've done is a little bit of custom roll-off at around 40 hertz. Uh, looks like is where I was targeting. And then a dip around 200, a notch at 2K. So let's listen to it with those effects on there. At every point of decision, there's a moment of doubt. You know, that moment when you ask yourself, what am I doing here? Why am I doing this? I can't do this. Yeah, all well, that's here before. At every point of decision, there's a moment of doubt. You know, that moment when you ask yourself, what am I doing here? Why am I doing this? I can't do this. At every point of decision, there's a moment of doubt. You know, that moment when you ask yourself, what am I doing here? Why am I doing this? I can't do this. So... At first, it's kind of like, well, that doesn't sound so good anymore. Uh, but in, a, in another sense, it kind of sits better with the other sounds that are in there. Um, it cleans, it still re retains some of that body, but rolls off some of the boominess there. I think I was probably a little bit too close to the microphone. I had a little bit to learn yet. And then uh, uh, this 2K frequency, as I've found, tends to be a little bit, uh, a little bit annoying on some... Uh, depending on how well it kind of sounded like it was in a box so at every point of decision there's a moment of doubt you know that moment when you ask yourself what am i doing here why am i doing this i can't do this so it, it just cleans it up a little bit this is not obviously not something i do on everything um but i did it on here and let's see so now for cornell use track that's a little more interesting uh, let's let's move forward in the scheme of things. Uh, back. Uh, nice shuttle sounds. Do this. I get asked a lot, and I've even asked myself why climb a mountain. For me, it's a way to get out of the busy. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to mute one of these and put the center so you can tell what what we're doing here. Do this. I get asked a lot, and I've even asked myself why climb a mountain. For me, it's a way to get out of the busy and artificial environment of today. The mountain is a place to escape. A place... Now, you can't really hear what it's doing so much. I'm trying to remember why I tamed it that back at that level. <clears throat> But I think it's the cumulative effect here. Do this. I get asked a lot, and I've even asked myself, why climb a mountain? For me, it's a way to get out of the busy and artificial environment of today. The mountain is a place to escape. Okay, so now, uh, let us... Yeah. Let's bring, let's leave everything open now. And we'll, we'll listen to just that first section. If you want to see the full video, it is uh, actually on this channel. I believe it's called the, uh, the Call of the Mountain. Not uh, yeah. In this session, it looks like I called it the Climb, but it is on my channel. It's the Call of the Mountain. I'll also put a link to that in relevant areas of this video. All right, let's uh, let's hear everything together. At every point of decision, there's a moment of doubt. You know, that moment when you ask yourself, what am I doing here? Why am I doing this? I can't do this. I get asked a lot, and I've even asked myself, why climb a mountain? For me, it's a way to get out of the busy and artificial environment of today. The mountain is a place to escape. A place that's so simple, yet so complex, 
It affects us in many ways we can't even expect. I'd say climbing a mountain is more than being stupid. In fact, it's not about being crazy at all. It's, it's about taking on a huge challenge and conquering it. Your worst fears, your inadequacies. The mountain is just there, calling you, saying, Take me! If so, there's kind of an idea of some simple stuff you might do. Like, obviously, GoPro audio is not really good, so it was nice to have the the uh, the wind in there just to kind of start this off and uh, like I said that was a continuous shot and it just progressively got more and more cloudy until our, our end shot right here where it's all the clouds are all there and I think I did this in Not slow motion, I sped it up. And of course we have our our end credits. So that's that's some basics. Oh, I didn't talk about the automation, but we'll uh we'll push that to the next video and uh talk a, a little bit about how automation works uh in here in audition.